I'm Mark Nolte, I'm the president of the Iowa City Area Development Group, and we started the CoLabs as a way to spur more economic development, um, help more entrepreneurs, and, and in some ways connect more, especially young creative people, to our community. The downtown space has about 5,500 square feet, um, eight private offices, and then uh, space for about 30 people uh, at the bench area and in the lobby. We put interns at the lobby. Uh, they're a discounted rate. Um, and then in Corville, we've got a space that's about half the size. It's got uh, seven rentable offices, and then space for about 12 coworkers, uh, like just coworkers in the lobby area. We have offices that can be rented or just uh, space at the private or at the bench area. And you can just use this space to innovate, to have meetings, to work, to call it your daily workplace, or just pop in when you need a place outside of a home office or coffee shop. If you think like a health club, right, you have a monthly membership or you're going to get a part-time membership, but you, you pay for whatever use of the space you need. A lot of people just want to get outside of um, their company. They may be the one creative computer person at a manufacturing plant, right, but they want to be around their peers. So they can come here and be part of this culture as well as their own company. What the CoLab is for us is it's, a, it's really an ecosystem of opportunities and an ability to grow while staying really connected to the people around us, the community that supports us. Before we worked at the CoLab, we either worked out of our dining room or out of our partner's basement. We felt you know, pretty isolated and we weren't really connected to the larger community. So um, at the CoLab, we have the opportunity, one, to just feel like we're a part of a larger group of other people doing interesting things, but also then we get connected to an even larger community of entrepreneurs and bankers and, um, and institutions that uh, that help us grow our business faster. Mark and Kate and Delane and Eric, they all, um, they just always kind of check up on us and say like, what do you need? Who can we introduce you to? Um, you know, I know that person. I'm going to shoot them an email right now and get you hooked up with that. We're trying to give uh, entrepreneurial companies a place to get started. It's a safe place, no long-term leases. It's very cost effective. So we're trying to show them we support their growth and want them to start here and grow here. We were one of the first folks to come in, and I've been looking for space in Iowa City for a couple years, probably since uh, 2008, and uh, was unable to find anything that as a startup, but currently I was in my basement, so um, we didn't have the funds, we were, we were truly a startup, and finding a location with all the infrastructure is very hard to do. It's not a, a secret that, that uh, businesses are in, uh, hard, to, hard to put together as far as land. So we fell, fell in love with the CoLab. What the CoLab gives to radiology protocols is, is energy and, and connectivity. So when you've got energy and connectivity, all of a sudden you've got ideas. So we are, we're, we've got a, a team of about 16 people underneath me now. Uh, two years ago there were two of us. So we're, we're setting up for, for growth. In the short time we've been here, we've probably had four new companies get started that we hope will become employers of choice and, and grow, like Integrated DNA Technology and ACT and some of the other companies that started here and have grown. Um, we're hoping that it's a tool to keep more people from gravitating out of the area. As a college community, you're always a little transient. Um, we're hoping to help people put down some roots. Uh, so maybe they're here, uh, maybe they're the a trailing spouse of someone that's getting a, a grad degree, right? Um, the prevailing wisdom is once you graduate, you leave. But if we can help the spouse put down some roots, then maybe we have an opportunity to keep both in the community. We're also trying to create a space for people that work f remotely for companies all over the country, uh, or all over the world in many cases. Um, they, we want them to know that they can live in this community, this is a great place to live, but we'll also provide a professional environment for them to work and collaborate in because working alone is not, you know, it's not human nature, right? It's just not optimal. We're a company based out of Connecticut. I moved here in 2012 and, um, you know, it was one of these things that working in a co-working space was a lot more attractive. We just made our second full-time hire here and if it weren't for CoLab, you know, it would still just be me, like, working here by myself, right? It's great for us because we can kind of expand elastically based on what we need without having to pay for a, a full, like, $2,000 a month office, right? Because this is a lot less expensive. We can hire, you know, a couple people, have an intern here, and not have to pay a ton more. 
uh, so it's based on our usage, which is great. Makes it much easier to think about expanding in a place like Iowa City um, than it would be otherwise. Anyone can walk through the door, ask to come drop in for a day or talk to some people. It's an amazing opportunity to just be in an environment where ideas are safe and where interesting people talk about the community around them. There's a lot of information about how to work better and live better that's just kind of floating around here that, that a person can pick up if they come in, even if it's only a couple times a week, I think it's worth it. The collab just opens so many doors for you. We practice what we preach and collaboration is part of the name and it's exactly what everyone here feeds off of. It serves us all a lot more if we make Iowa City a great community for you know, software developers to live in rather than us all fighting each other. So I think there's a lot of collaboration that happens just because you actually know some of the people here. So that's what we're trying to change with spaces like this, is change the behavior to be more innovative uh, and create that sticky knowledge that authors like to talk about. That's what defines communities that are succeeding right now, is they're good at keeping talent. So we're hoping this space is a catalyst for that. You're watching City Channel 4. On TV, online, on demand, on Facebook, and now on the go on your mobile device.